Hey, what's going on guys? The Bearded Baron here bringing you guys another Dead by Daylight video. Oftentimes, playing Dead by Daylight, one can easily overlook some of the little hidden gems that this game has tucked away. So today, we'll be taking a look at some of the best hidden Easter eggs in Dead by Daylight. The first one on this list is the hidden room at the Midwich Elementary map. Recreated after the iconic Silent Hill series, this easter egg is no different. The way to open up this room is simple. As a survivor, you must complete specific generators on the map. The first one being in the music room with the piano, and the second being in the chemistry laboratory. Completing these generators will cause the clock to chime, signaling that you're on the right track. Secondly, you must trigger the in-game collapse. Now doing so, when you go back to the clock tower, you'll notice that the doors at the base of the clock tower will be open and revealing the treasure inside. Next up is a secret found in the Hawkins Laboratory map. Now this one can be found in two ways. Either one, you can blink inside of the room as the nurse, or simply just wait until the in-game collapse. Now I will caveat this by saying that the basement cannot spawn in this area for this easter egg to be found, so it will take you a few tries maybe to be able to see this. But once you do, once you actually blink inside, you can see several different things, including a homage to the in-game collapse and the chemical formula for polyester, one of Dead by Daylight's Fog Whispers. This next easter egg is one of my personal favorites, and it's not only a nod to the Silent Hill series, but also to Mr. Hashimoto himself. I'm talking, of course, about the Konami Code. Now, this one is very simple to activate in Dead by Daylight. All you have to do is back out to the main title menu and either have Pyramid Head or Cheryl in one of the main slots. At that point, you enter in the Konami Code, and you'll be greeted with this little jingle. Hearing that code and going back to the customization menu for both either killer or survivor, you're going to notice that one of the charms that you now have access to is the Vic Viper, it's the player spaceship from Gratis, and it was the location of the first Konami code ever. The next two easter eggs on this list come from the Spirit and Oni DLCs. Now this one is dealing with the Sanctum of Wrath and it has to deal with the little statues. Now this doesn't matter if you play as killer or as survivor, but as you notice as you're walking down past these little statues, if you turn around quickly, you'll notice the direction that the statues are facing always seems to follow the location that you are heading in. They will not do it when you are looking directly at them, but as soon as you turn away and look back, they're staring at you again. Now, a lot of people think that this is homage to the Doctor Who series. I haven't seen any kind of indicator of that. I just think that they're neat, and so I wanted to add them in. This next one can be found in the family residence and is a nod to the Oni DLC. Now the Oni and the spirit are blood related as the Oni is the spirit's father. So when they finally did release the Oni into the game, the developers decided to add in this little nod to connecting between the spirit and Oni in the family residence map. A lot of people have speculated though that because there is a third spot for another katana that we might actually see another family member make an appearance in a later DLC. What do you think? Let me know down in the comment section below. Also, guys, if you're enjoying the video thus far, please consider subscribing to the channel as it definitely helps me out and you guys will be notified whenever I do make more Dead by Daylight content. Last on this list and probably could make its own video about it is the mystery of the Golden Toolboxes. Now this originally started during the Halloween DLC, but Golden Toolboxes have been spawning up on almost every single map since that time. Nobody really understands what they're there, they're there for other than being an Easter egg, and they range in difficulty for finding them from just looking into some kind of obscure area to actually in some maps like the Midwitch map, actually waiting until the end game collapse to almost completely finish before it actually makes an appearance. These have gotten increasingly more difficult to find, and every new map release begs the question of where the next one is at. All right, guys, that's my video. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Also, I'd love to hear what you guys think is the best Easter egg in Dead by Daylight thus far, and what Easter eggs that you're looking forward to with the new Resident Evil release that's coming up here in the next couple of weeks. But guys, I hope everybody has an amazing night, and I'll see you all in the vlog.